Hello and welcome back to Coins and More UK. I hope everyone is having a fantastic week and in today's video we're going to be looking at another packaged coin issued by the Royal Mint. And here is the coin uh, we're going to be having a look at today. Now this is the uh, 2017 UK uh, £1 Brilliant Uncirculated Coin. Now I've seen this pop up in one of the Facebook groups and I think I paid about £8 for it so um, it was a real bargain and um, with postage as well so yeah extra bargains uh, to be had uh, really good price i had to get my hands on this because it is one that i've been after for quite some time now um i did think there was a 2016 version of this but um i've not had a chance to um look to be fair um so if anyone can let me know in the comments below if there is a 2016 bunk pack because that's the year they were they were released actually but whether they were just released into circulation or issued as a bunk pack as well, I'm not quite sure. But regardless, we have got the 2017 version to have a look at today. Right, so let's just have a close-up look of the coin. And as you can see, a nice, shiny 2017 £1 coin. I'm a big fan of these designs. I do miss the old round pounds, but I do appreciate why they brought this design into circulation. Obviously, to try and deter counterfeiters. And it is um, known as one of the safest coins in the world. There's so many different security features. Obviously, we've got the um, bimetallic look as well on it now. And then also, we've got some very small writing around the outsides as well, which hopefully this bulk packet should explain a little bit more. But as you can see there, some layers of the coin. And yes, there is some um, secretive security features in this coin. So um, yeah, good luck counterfeiters. Um, hopefully, we won't see too many of these um, going around in fakes but you never know yeah, when people put their mind to it they can do anything now it's it's crazy but yeah it, it is known as uh, one of the world's safest coins so without further ado let's have a look inside this bulk pack and let's see what we've got let's put that to the side for a minute okay so on the back there we've just got some coin specifications a little bit of a dint there but never mind uh, denomination one pound it is funny saying that the first one pound coin that I've ever reviewed uh, so we've got the weight 8.75 grams diameter 23 uh, 0 0.03 millimeters uh, obverse of course Jody Clark and the reverse designer is David Pierce and we've just got some more information here so it says that the, the new 12 sided one pound coin is the most innovative ever produced by the moment a showcase for the latest technology as well as time-honoured skills honed over the Royal Mint's 1000 year history. It has been designed to be fit for the future using security features that aim to safeguard our currency for years to come. That's really cool. We'll have a better look at the coin without the package in there. It is really nice. Always good to see a nice shiny £1 coin. Okay so let's get this booklet open let's see what we've got. So there's the obverse. And if you can see just slightly there, you can see a one pound uh, symbol. There we go, you can just see it, hopefully you can. And then some nice uh, illustrations as well. So design in the future, in 2017 we welcome the new 12 sided one pound coin into circulation. Uh, though, the one, uh, though the one pound coin has borne 24 circulating designs over the years, this is the first major change to the coin specification since it replaced £1 notes in 1983. There's some really nice information inside this booklet and of course as always if you want to pause and have a read of what's inside please feel free to do so. And what we've got here, so the future in your hands. During his budget announcement in 2014 the then Chancellor of the Exchequer George Osborne announced it was time for a major change. Over time, the round pound had become vulnerable to sophisticated counterfeiters and it was time to introduce a new 12-sided £1 coin that incorporated revolutionary security features to tackle the problem. And that's what I was just um, explaining earlier on. It is meant to be a really, really secure £1 coin and it should be quite hard to counterfeit. And uh, again, if you want to pause the video, have a further read of the information. And fit for future. And there we can just see which I was explaining about before. We've got the date of the uh, the coin and very small print around the edges of the coin. So for the future, while the 12 sided shape may be familiar to people who recognise the old uh, threepenny bit, 
Other features are the result of the most up-to-date mint and technology. A bimetallic appearance using two different colours has been used in the production of £2 coins, but this is the first time it has been used for a £1 coin. Very nice, so let's have a look at the next page. So the design and the designer of I of course it was designed by a schoolboy. And it's David Pierce, yeah of course it was, so the design and the designer. David Pierce from Queen Mary's Grammar School, West Midlands, which was 15 years old when his coin design won the public competition. And it is a very nice design indeed. Fingers crossed it won't be too long before we start to see some commemorative £1 coins. It would be really nice to see some of them into circulation. And let's see what's on the other side. Okay, so we've got Strike in the Balance. All coins strike a delicate balance between heritage and innovation and art and engineering. The committee had to choose a design that would work well on the small canvas of the coin, especially when there would be 1.5 billion to strike initially. There's more to follow. That's a lot of one pound coins. We've got three decades of excellence. Uh, three decades of excellence. Then we've got to all get the words out. So the pound made its first appearance in Tudor times when Henry the Henry the Seventh, or when they got it wrong, ordered the officers of his royal mint to produce new money of gold. His sovereign, struck in 1489, had a value of uh, one pound sterling. The familiar round pound we know today was introduced in 1983 when Her, Her Majesty's Treasury realised that one pound notes issued by the Bank of England were becoming too expensive to produce and had a short lifespan. And just there we've got a bit of history about the one pound uh, one pound coin. And then on this one we're just back to the coin specifications again. That's really cool. I've I've really enjoyed having a quick flick through that and I will have a further read later. But there was some fantastic information in this booklet about the new one pound coin. And I'm really glad I've got this in my collection now. It's an absolute cracking design, and I can't wait to see some commemorative ones released soon. Fingers crossed. Come on, Royal Mint, you can do it. Okay, uh, so there we go. That is it for another coin review. If you did uh, enjoy this video, please leave me a like. And of course, if you want to leave me any comments in the box below, I'm always welcoming questions uh, for me to answer. Of course, if you're not already subscribed to Coins and More UK, please feel free to do so. And of course, if you press that notification bell, you'll always be notified when I upload new videos just like this. All that's left for me to say now is thank you um, so much for watching as always. And always remember, there's always two sides to every coin if you take the time to look. Bye for now.